last week you had uh, was Red Hood and the Outlaws came out, and Starfire is in this series, which it's a new comic to the DC world, and Starfire's looking a little sexy in these pages, which had a seven-year-old up in arms. <laughs> It just wasn't what she was used to with the little WB cartoon of uh, Teen Titans. <laughs> Anyways, if you pick up uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws, it's actually a really cool series, and it's just taking Starfire, and she's, she's not the little girl that we knew in Teen Titans anymore. She's all grown up and a bit sexual. In fact, one line that she says is, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's not making love, it's strictly sex, or something along the lines of while she's wearing like booty shorts and like uh, a bikini she's that doesn't bikini. cover up anything. She's in a bikini. Yes, sure. Got this book. Uh, but the seven-year-old was like, hey, this isn't the superhero that I once knew. She's not really doing anything. She's just kind of standing there. For me, I'm like, hey, so they're appealing to the male audience. They are still an audience. It's okay to still appeal. People like sex. Sex does sale. I'm not trying sex to sales. be like sales. a... Sales. 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 It flies. It's the accent. Sales. Um, <laughs> now, it's the ocean. Wee. By no means am I trying to be so from I, the sex sales. I'm not trying to like say my opinion is better than the seven-year-old's. I'm actually, I think the big win for nerds everywhere is that there is a seven-year-old female who is this excited about comics and is this much of a fan to like have this much of a passionate opinion. So yeah, I think nerds everywhere win. I don't know. Well, just to counter that, this seven-year-old might be turned off from comic books now if these are the female role models she's seeing. She's obviously, she doesn't like Starfire in this. That's not her favorite hero anymore. So if they're trying to get more female readers and maybe get them young, this isn't what they should be doing. Well, just say, just say. So it got some uh, attention from the live audience. Uh, at the same time, like look at the IRL situation where you had Britney Spears that appealed to a much younger audience, and then she growed up too and got a little bit sexual. And parents are like, "What?" And then got arrested a few times. A couple times. So uh, <laughs> she classy. <laughs> <laughs> Starfire's heading down a dangerous road. <laughs> Gonna marry a backup dancer? <laughs> Two kids. <laughs> oh. I hope it's Thanks. me. Yeah. But uh, I thought it was a, a Really interesting just to see like this fan base this strong about it. There are two sides to the coin. Mm -hmm. I don't think everyone should jump up in arms just because a seven-year-old uh, decided to help think, her mom I, with an article. I don't think everyone's jumping up in arms. Um, the, this might cause for a rating system to happen in comic books. There is a rating system though. Mm -hmm. Okay. About Twitter. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> snap! Snap! <laughs> what did DC say on Twitter? This might call for a more apparent, because in, in films, it's rated R. You see it. In, 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 in video games, it's, it has a clear rating system. This might call for a clear rating system. This is And this is a reboot. Why the parent bought the seven-year-old this book? Who knows? Because they couldn't buy it on the Kindle well, Fire. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they, uh, that the parent bought it for their seven-year-old because the seven-year-old didn't get to read the comic book. She just well, saw the okay. pictures and formulated opinion off that, which truly, that's not the best way to formulate opinions, but the content wasn't appropriate for a seven-year-old, so yeah. the parent did make the choice that, no, she shouldn't be reading this. I'm judged off of the way I look all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. It's the glasses, right? You yeah. Check your pockets. I might have stolen you.